Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. This week, myself and the rest of the Sob Kyle team, including my good friend Chris and my wife Crystal, were attending the SEMA show in Las Vegas. None of us have ever been here before and we're super excited to bring you along for this journey. As you guys know, earlier this year or throughout this year, we've done a bunch of stuff with Borla Exhaust and testing out a variety of different setups for our personal cars. They graciously offered to bring us here and you know allow us to film this whole event for you guys. And along with being able to check out some of their latest products, we're gonna try to show you as many things as possible around here. And I've talked to a bunch of people and they say it's just about impossible. And from what I've seen so far, I'm pretty sure they're correct, but this is an absolutely amazing experience and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also really excited to say that there's a lot of other car YouTubers here, including Chris Fix, Humble Mechanic, Subaru WRX Fan, Engineering Explained, Eric the Car Guy, and a whole bunch of other guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So those of you who don't know, SEMA stands for Specialty Equipment Market Association, and it's basically this mecca of aftermarket and OE, you know, products, cars, concept cars. This place is absolutely massive. As you can see behind me, this is just one area of all these just buildings scattered all over the place. There's Ford here, Chevrolet's over there, Borla's in the middle, Roush is over here, just Every type of performance part and accessory you can imagine is all here under one roof. It's incredible. All right guys, so behind me is the racing version of the all new 2017 Ford GT Supercar. They competed in the 24 hours of Le Mans this year and won, which is amazing because it's exactly 50 years that they won with the original GT40 back in 1966. This car is an absolute piece of history. This one's packing over 600 horsepower from its EcoBoost motor, primarily made of carbon fiber. Absolutely incredible engineering. So behind me is the 2016 Ford Focus RS by Roush Performance. A lot of you guys have already seen the video or the review of Pure Sound I did on their Stage 3 Mustang. While I was there, they were actually in the process of finishing this build, but nobody could film it or you know look at it outside of Roush at that time. But now that I've actually been able to see it in person, I think this thing's making like 500 horsepower, so it's just ridiculous. But I'm gonna get back up to Michigan very, very soon and do a full review and road test on this. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome. What are you doing, man? Just trying to catch up on Instagram. There's too many cool things to post. I'm about to post that uh, that Ford GT over there. If you guys don't follow me already on here, it's Sob Kyle 04 LLC. Um, all of the travels and stuff we've been doing lately, and haven't had time to like get all these videos up yet. It's definitely the best way to keep up to date with what's happening with us and the channel and everything. So definitely check that out sometime. One of my favorite videos you made was when you did the Jeep when it wouldn't start or whatever your dad's Everybody loved that yeah, video. Yeah, I know. That's, like, that's how I found you. But it was really nice to meet you, so thank you very Have much. Thanks. That was so cool. <laughs> big block candy, so big block. It appears to be a big block candy. We're at the Chevrolet booth right now. This is a Colorado-based vehicle known as the ZH2. It's a hydrogen fuel cell powered like 4x4 off-road vehicle they debuted earlier in October. The whole propulsion system is up front. Back here, there's a big old scoop on the roof that goes into a high temperature radiator. You know, on the outer portion, you can see these little like uh, grills and stuff. Those are for the other heat exchangers for things like the HVAC system and um, like the other ancillary components like electrical systems and all of that. It looks awesome. So a lot of you guys have already seen that insane video of the new 2017 Camaro ZL1 lap in the Nürburgring. If you haven't, it's on Chevrolet's YouTube channel, but this is that exact car. It still has all of the bug splatters all over it. It's totally unclean. It looks like it just came off the track. But I'm really looking forward to having my chance to actually drive this for myself because the car is pushing out some insane numbers. 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque, just like the new Corvette Z06. Fantastic car. You know, we used to have to get up and change the channel of the TV. Yeah. Now it's remote. It's the kind of thing I'm almost thinking, hey, let's get rid of the lift, let's go back to Jets. So, yeah. well, you can watch Motors TV uh, at MOTORZ.TV 24-7 on demand. Chris has got 
So we're at the shell stage right now. Engineering Explained is about to do a little Q&A session. I believe they're about to unveil a car to the left. So Welcome back, cool everybody. Like this. Joining us on stage is Jason Finsky. He is a mechanical engineer. Shell Fuels Network of Champions candidate. Okay. But I have this YouTube channel where I uh, like to, you know, help get people amped about engineering. So I teach about how cars work. Give it up for Jason Finsky here. Thank you guys. Yeah. 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 So thank you, thank you so much. How about a big round of applause for Sean Penn? Yeah. Is it half Pinto, half Mustang? Who knows? It's the Maverick. So we coined it the underdog. If I were a car, I would be a Ford Maverick. Okay, so much support. So you know, really, it took a village to build this Maverick, and you know, everybody really supports this car. So you know, without all the people and all the contributors. Everyone here today. Please give them a round of applause. Yeah. 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 All right, so we just met up with all of the guys. We're actually heading over to do a little practice run of this panel that we're all participating in tomorrow where people and businesses at SEAM are going to ask us about YouTube and the channels and how it all works and stuff. So it should be a lot of fun. Just your buzzer. All right, everyone. Now we're at the FCA booth. Apparently at 426. You know, get it? 426 Hemi. At the stage behind us, they're going to be unveiling something. Should be pretty cool. So let's see what's up. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today, ladies and gentlemen. Our new. 345 and 392 Crate Hemi Engine Kits. Isn't it a pity that we cannot fire them up? I mean, that's, that's the only thing that really I don't like of this press conference. Not fire what? The engines. Well, that's why you don't stand. <laughs> no, we're going to fire the engine. Well, we can't. I mean, it's, I mean, I think the fire marshal will not be particularly happy. I don't care. You ever watch my show? The first rule is there's no rules. Of course you're going to start. What do you, think? you know what? You're the boss. You're the CEO of Mopar. I don't think we can do it. I need to look at respect I need exactly to look at what you're saying. Well, sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission, right? <laughs> We're going to go back over to the FCA booth tomorrow and check out some of the crazy things Mopar is concocting. We're going to actually meet David Borla himself and talk about some of their newest products and check out the entire other side that we haven't even been able to step foot in yet. But tonight we're going to relax, have fun, go to the SEMA after party. It's actually sponsored by Roush and they were kind enough to all get us these just beautiful metal golden tickets to this after party. <laughs> The P-51 Warbird was a true legend in its time. It's got some really cool stuff on it. 727 horsepower with their Phase 2 Supercharger kit. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Alright everyone, so that concludes our first day at the SEMA show. I'm joined by Matt from Subaru WRX Fan and Chris from Chris Fix It. We're going to enjoy this Roush party for a bit. Good morning everyone and welcome to day two of SEMA. We're starting the morning off by that panel that we were prepping for yesterday. So we're gonna all sit up here and get asked questions. Hopefully we got a packed house of people who just wanna learn more about YouTube and what we do. It should be a lot of fun.
down to consistency and just kind of being yourself and listening to your fans. Like in my case, I just want to help people learn how to fix their car and get that awesome feeling. And then eventually, you start getting that following. I, I film very long form content. Most of my car reviews are anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes long, depending on what they are. You know, most people would think, you know, you make a car video that long, like why would somebody watch a 30 minute video on a car? So it's, it's designed to be that immersive experience, totally based on user feedback. So, thank, thank you for you coming out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Alright guys, so we just finished up with the panel, that was an awesome experience being able to share the stage with all of those YouTube car guys, but now it's time to grab some lunch. We were actually invited to a special preview of a new show coming out called Tackle My Ride, presented by the NFL, so we're going to head on inside, grab some food, uh, you know, see what's happening. Now, the way this show will work, uh, the first act you know, Lamar and James will meet up with the current NFL player, and you can see the ones who are participating in the show. That player uh, talks about his passion for cars, uh, and then points them in the direction of Fang, who's doing really great work. Since we're on the subject of Camaros, I decided to swing by the SLP booth to check out some of the stuff they're offering on the Gen 6 Camaro. This one has a bunch of their performance parts, including a supercharger bumping the LT1 to 600 horsepower. There's a cold air intake and a bunch more stuff, but they built this car specifically for SEMA and it has a lot of unique things on it. You know, probably my favorite part is this brushed like steel looking wrap they have on it. It's the most incredible wrap I've ever seen. Super detailed and it, it makes it look like a DeLorean in a way. It's, it's amazing. But some of the other cool things they did, there's an Anderson composite carbon fiber hood and trunk lid, the hood inspired by the ZL1, unique front, side splitters, and a rear spoiler. It's an absolute showstopper. All right, everyone, I am joined here by David Borla. His parents founded Borla Exhaust back in 1978, and I just wanted to thank you, you know, from the bottom of my heart for this experience. It's absolutely incredible. We had this really nice, Camaro, you know, Gen 6 Camaro show car back here. That's some, can you elaborate on some of the things that you have on this car? Sure. So this is, uh, you know, the car that's sort of built in the spirit of a race car. And uh, what we've done is we've put a lot of our racing applications on it. So we have our long tube header, which is really for racing use only, or it's absolutely for racing use only. Um, and we have a purpose-built 3-inch exhaust system that goes with the long tube header. And it was designed to really deal with the objectionable frequencies that we get with long tube headers. And uh, this particular system is, uh, has our attack muffers on it, which are the most aggressive. But we also so offer nice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We also offer touring um, and S-type um, for this application. And then uh, what I'm most excited about right now are really these carbon fiber tips that we have on this car. That's the first thing that I noticed when I came up. So I haven't ever seen anybody do something like that. It's it's really neat. It adds kind of like that that custom touch to it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's like the actual tip itself has like uh, like bracing yes, in the middle, it does. so it's not like a solid piece of metal. Right. So the reason for that is because carbon fiber doesn't do so well with heat. So these are called intercooled tips. And so that actually keeps the touch temperature of the carbon fiber down. So it's a functional thing. It looks okay. kind of cool and techy, but it's really functional. So we've just launched our new carbon fiber line. A few years ago, we invested in carbon fiber manufacturing capabilities. And, um, we're just kind of starting to get to the point where we really have some really cool stuff. So another thing I want to talk about real quick, and this is something that I just learned relatively recently, is that you guys are offering turbochargers now. Yeah, we are. How long have you been doing that? It's a relatively new deal for us, and we're really offering integrated turbo packages. But we saw as an opportunity to in improve performance, right? Because, man, you can upgrade these turbos, and we're offering a package that includes larger turbos from Borg Warner, new spark plugs, uh, Borla air filter, yeah. and uh, Custom, uh, a custom tune and a Borla exhaust, and the tune obviously makes sure everything works together. Right. On the F-150, we, we saw up to 160 horsepower again. You know, and on the Mustang <laughs> EcoBoost, which you know isn't the highest horsepower motor to begin with, we got 100 horsepower on that car. So, you know, um, there's an opportunity to provide power, and we're power junkies, and, and, and you know we're fortunate enough to have built a fan base over the last 38 years, and. And um, we want to kind of offer more. Oh, yeah. So that's that's what we're doing. Hey, David, 
thank you so much. Thanks for coming. It's, it's really an pleasure. honor to have you. Yeah, thank really you. Awesome. I'm a fan. <laughs> that means a lot. <laughs> All right, there's a lot more stuff to see. Alright guys, we're at the FCA booth now and as a lot of you guys know, I love profiling unique cars on this channel, but one thing that really caught my eye here is this Jeep Comanche concept. It's based on the Renegade, has a 6 inch longer wheelbase, and has a 5 foot bed out back with a soft top. This thing looks absolutely fantastic and you know, it might be a lofty dream, but I really hope they put this into production because it's, it's such a cool concept. It's got a lot of unique exterior and interior elements, but it's powered by a two liter diesel four cylinder, has a nine speed automatic transmission. This particular color is actually called um, beige against the machine. I love the creative colors and stuff that <laughs> Chrysler Group has always used over the years, but just look at this thing, it's, it's awesome. The Comanche obviously was really cool, but if I could pick one other vehicle out of this entire booth to show you, it'd be this Jeep Crew Chief 715 concept, which is designed to pay homage to classic Jeep military vehicles like the Kaiser 715. It's got just about every Jeep, you know, optional accessory that you can put on it, and a lot of unique things as well, like the front end, steel front and rear bumpers, it's got 40 inch military tires, 20 inch beadlock wheels, I mean, just all sorts of stuff. This thing is ridiculous. <laughs> So far, we've checked out a lot of muscle cars and some of the more unique builds, you know, supercars, classic cars, and just downright strange things, but there's also a pretty big luxury side to SEMA as well, and one of my favorite things here is this brand new LC500 Coupe by Lexus, and we're at the Lexus booth. They actually have a modified version of this car sitting right next to it, which looks absolutely spectacular, but I wanted to really highlight this because this car is not a concept. It's actually going to be in production. It's going to launch around spring of 2017 as a 2018 model, packs a 5 liter V8, 471 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. They're estimating 60 could be hit in about four and a half seconds. You know, carbon fiber, aluminum, like lightweight steel construction, it seats four people, and it's absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of, you know, the big two-door coupes that used to be produced a long time ago, but unfortunately you don't see too much anymore, so I'm really excited to see something in this segment that just looks this beautiful come to fruition. I can't wait to see what's next with it. So the cars are one thing, but one of the biggest things about SEMA is the aftermarket accessories and parts that you can get for all of these cars. That's why I wanted to stop by the Anderson Composites booth because they have a brand new Ford Focus RS, they have a new Camaro, as well as a new Mustang. And they make, you know, custom carbon fiber components, but they take it to a new extreme. Like the Mustang behind me, the entire front end is made of carbon fiber. The front fascia, the fenders, the hood, it's absolutely spectacular, and I haven't seen anything like this outside of like a Bugatti or, or some sort of high dollar supercar or a Pagani where you can you know order it from the factory with all this exposed carbon fiber. They offer all of these parts that you can put on your car, make everything super lightweight, and it looks absolutely fantastic in the process. All right, I'm gonna try to explain what I see here because I've heard of this car before, but I need to look up a little bit more information on it before I start getting too technical and trying to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, but let's give it a go. So basically, there's a 458 engine right here that's been reversed. So if you open up the back of the 458, the intake runners are coming out this way. In this configuration, it's going this way. So the fenders right here, the air in, engine air intakes go in right here, there's tubing, and then it comes through here. Then you have the exhaust manifolds that come out down in the bottom, it's like an X pipe where you know everything converges and stuff, and then the exhaust comes out right ahead of the front tires. That's awesome. This is <laughs> this is amazing. I can only imagine how much it costs to build this car or how much this engine alone costs. Just the, the workmanship of it, the, the quality of it. I, 
it's so creative. It's just, this is awesome. This, this is it for me. This is the king of the show for me. Well, that concludes our time at SEMA. I know we just barely scratched the surface of everything SEMA has to offer, but I can already guarantee that we will be back next year. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Subscribe today. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.